You're a crazy bitch, but you fuck so good. I'm on top of it when I dream. I'm doing you all night. Scratches all down my back to keep me right on. Hey, you're a crazy bitch, but you fuck so good. I'm on top of it when I dream. I'm doing you all night. Scratches all down my back to keep me right on. Ba down, ba down, ba down, ba down, ba down. Hello. Hey there. <laughs> Welcome to a brand new episode of the Journeyman Save, and this is actually the final episode of the season. We've done it against most of the odds. We have won the league, which is absolutely amazing. I'm still thrilled now. I'm recording this a couple of days after recording that. And I wanted to start off with showing you my profile, because as you take your minds back to the early episodes, I had little to no experience or skills. And now we've got some skills, not not great, but we've got a 6 for attacking now. We've got a 5 for defending, a 4 for fitness, 5s for goalkeepers and tactical, 3 for technical, 5 for mental, only a 1 for working with youngsters, and then we're pretty average on the mentals as well. 3s, three 3s, threes, 4s, 1s, 3s and 3s. Uh, but overall, please, we've made some progress and um, obviously we've won the league. Our reputation is a 1 star and we're a National C license. This episode is going to be a review type episode. We're going to go over the sort of league positioning of the team, have a look at which players perform well, and we're also going to have a look at the jobs market as well. And before I go into this episode, I'm going to put a link in the description below. I would love it if you guys could vote on that link. It's a straw poll link, and it'll be, do I stay with Sterling for next season, or do I resign and look elsewhere to go to another club? Now, in this episode, we'll look at what jobs are currently available, I want to go overseas, I want to go to some obscure country, find a club, try and fall in love with that club and try and improve and, and you know do something better. My adaptability is only a three, so it's not very good, but it'd be nice to kind of make a name elsewhere. And obviously this being the journeyman save, I want to go around the globe and, and try and, well, certainly go around Europe and try and enhance my reputation and do a good job, essentially. Um, not stay at one club for a great length of time. I'm happy to stay at a club for two or three seasons, not a problem, and I'm happy to stay at Sterling, but... I want to give you guys the option. You guys get to have a, an impact on this series just as much as I do. So go into the straw poll and just have a vote. And what I'll do, I'll give it a few days until I record the next episode. Once this one goes out, I'll give it a few days and then I will decide what I do then. So that's my um, that's what I look like on my profile right now. We'll start off with our league and our team. So if we go into the final league positions, if I can just get up on by here... There we go, got there eventually. We won the league. We won the league. We finished as champions, played 36 games, we won 18, we drew 10 and we lost 8. We scored 50 goals and we conceded 36 with a plus 14 goal difference, which was the best in the league. And we won the league by 4 points, finishing with 64. Berwick finished 2nd, Cowdenby 3rd, Edinburgh City 4th. They were the three teams who went into the uh, playoffs. Unfortunately for Clyde, they got relegated. They finished bottom with 28 points. Now, if we look at the season preview... We were predicted to finish fifth. So we were sort of a mid-table team. We were a mid-table team, and the board were expecting me for playoffs. So their board were expecting me to finish anywhere between second and fourth, but the media didn't even think I'd do that well. They thought I'd finish as fifth. So to go from that sort of odds, finishing fifth, to go and oh, actually win the league is great. Interesting to see Clyde were actually rated above me in third place, and they finished bottom. So just going to show you, you can't always trust the media. Um, so I'm really happy with that. So that's how the league sort of finished, sort of league season finished for us. Key players. This is what the preview uh, screen gave us as far as the uh, key players go. I want to actually show you um, if I can find it. Where would it be? Awards, award winners. Here we go. I want um, manager of the month. No, I don't. I want player of the year. So player of the year was um, Ian McFarland of Edinburgh City apparently unfortunately none of my players did uh, any good but Edinburgh did do really good because they were the brand new team in the division they were expected to finish bottom or near enough down there and they actually finished uh, like I said in the playoffs finished fourth so very good stuff from Edinburgh City um, so yeah I guess it's fair enough I was a bit getting none of my players got in the uh, or one player of the year team of the year however though four of my players do get in the team of the year for the division so uh, Chris Smith, great goalkeeper, very happy with him, pretty good purchase, he um, is in the team of the year for us. Ross Smith, young central defender, really, really good stuff from him. He's only going to improve as well, I think he's 23, 24 years of age, so good stuff. Hopefully he can continue in the back for next season. we got Darren Petrie, who was one of our star players in the team of the year, excellent. And then we got uh, Calvin Colquhoun, who is actually on loan. I, I've tried signing him, and unfortunately he, he's not willing to come. He, he thinks Sterling is too, too low of a stature, even though he's had a season there. 
on loan, but um, he got in as well. So four of our players get in the team of the year, three of Edinburgh Cities, two of Cowden Beaths, one of Annan, and one of Forfar. So very happy with that. Average rate did with the best. Uh, well, Ian McFarland did, so you can see why he was given uh, player of the year. Ross Smith, I just missed out by looks of things, so unfortunate for him. Um, young player of the year, or young player of the month, rather. We haven't got manager of the year on here yet, have we? We haven't got that far yet, unfortunately. But that's what League 2 finished like. So we'll look at uh, League 1. Now the stages. Actually look at the league table. Livingston won the league. Alua second. Stranra, Adri, East Fife, Brechin, Peterhead, Albion Rovers, Queen's Park and Stenhouse Moor. So that's how the league finished. They're in League 1. Scottish League 1. Look at the Scottish Championship. And Hibernian, Hibs win the league by uh, 70 points. Dundee United second. Morton, Falkirk, Wraith, Dunfermline, Queen of the South. A St Mirren and Dumbarton. Now Dunfermline were actually after me, weren't they? So I could have got ended up in the Scottish Championship, maybe, because they were the media were linking me with that job. And obviously, if I'd said something, I might have lost my job at Stirling. And there's no guarantees I could have ended up at Dunfermline. But I could have got a championship job. So I might be at that sort of level in some of the media's eyes. So something to think about if you're thinking about me going to a different job there. Um, and then the Scottish Premiership, I'm guessing Celtic won. Yes, they did. Celtic won the league only by two points, though. Rangers finishing close behind in second place, and the Hearts finished in third. Aberdeen, Motherwell, Partick Thistle, Inverness, who are our affiliate, Dundee, Ross County, St Johnston, Hamilton, and then Kilmarnock got relegated, unfortunately, for them. So, what else happened around the leagues? Well, I can tell you guys. If we go on to. We'll start off from Wales. I'm going to do the home nations, basically. So, if we start off from Wales. Welsh Premier League is all we got here anyway, really. If it lets me, there we go. I'm going to guess TNS won this. Let's have a look. Yeah, TNS, bloody hell, they won about 30 points. That's almost like a guaranteed tro trophy if you go to TNS. So I would consider going to TNS. Well, I think reputation-wise, they're not too bad. But TNS won the league. Barla Town second. Bangor City third. Airbus UK fourth. Carmarthen fifth. Connors Key sixth. Aberystwyth seventh. Llandudno eighth. Rill ninth. Kevin Druids 10, Newtown 11th, and Cardiff Met Uni finishing bottom of the table, unfortunately for them. That is um, the Welsh Premier League. Actually, TNS, I'll actually check this now while I'm here. Ah, they're only a one-star team, so they'd it'd basically be going across. It'd be a sideward step going to TNS. Um, obviously, if I go to another club first and it doesn't work out, maybe going to TNS and trying to build my reputation back up, if I could, would be good. I imagine I'd probably be linked with a job like that, but um, that's where TNS are ranked. Uh, they, so let's have a look now at uh, England. Actually, we'll do Republic of Ireland first because I'm just curious to see how, how things happen in the top division there. Dundalk first, St. Pat's Athletic second, Derry City third, Cork, Bohemian, Shamrock Rovers. We've got, is it Sligo or Sligo Rovers? I always get confused with this one. Galway United. Galway girl. <laughs> doo, 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 doo. Sorry, a bit of Ed Sheeran, a bit of Ed. A bit of Ed. Uh, Bray Wanderers. And then we've got, uh, what's that, Cobbin Ramblers? Yeah. Wexford Youths and Shelbourne. That's the Irish Premier Division there, anyway, guys. Actually, they're still playing. I mean, you've got 16 games. I think they died in even the fin fin yeah, finalised table. Get my words out properly now, guys. Uh, South Republic of Ireland. We'll go to Northern Ireland, shall we? It should be here somewhere, Northern Ireland. Yep. Yeah. Check Northern Ireland, and we'll go to the English leagues, and then we'll have a little look at um, other stuff as well. So, Northern Ireland. Premier League or Dansk Bank Premiership. Linfield won it, Glentoran second, Coleraine third, Cliftonville fourth, Balmina United fifth, Glenavon sixth, Crusaders finished seventh, Carrick eighth, Dungannon ninth, and yeah, you can see it all there. I'm not going to say them all, but uh, you get the picture. We'll go to England now. England, 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 England. We'll start off, I'm going to start off in the conference and whip my way up, okay, guys? Go on, surprise you guys. I don't know what I'm going to do about surprise new, but we'll see. So Forest Green won the conference. They're going to be in the Football League now. And Barrow are going to join them. They must have won the playoffs here. All the shot, Eastley and York, unfortunately, missed out. Uh, Wrexham, Welsh club, finished mid-table. Ninth, Torquay. A couple of uh, sleeping giants in this league. Football, Former Football League clubs like Tramia Rovers, for example. Um, Sutton, actually, Sutton United finished um, 22nd. And they actually were interested in me. Which I'm a bit gutted by because I don't really want to go... Well, they would be now be in, in the uh, the very bottom tier you can manage it in England. So I wouldn't want to go to Sutton United. I want to go somewhere a bit higher if I went to England. But um, that's the National. So if we work our way up now to League 2. 
You can already see that Luton won the playoff final 3-2 against Pornmouth. Uh, Porn Pornmouth. <laughs> Pornmouth United. Pornmouth United. That's a weird one. It's Portsmouth. And it's not. There's no United. But somehow I've just christened them Pornmouth. Which is quite an interesting thing when you take the two words porn and mouth together. Yum. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> league table. Maybe I should go to Portsmouth. That'd be interesting. Or oh, found my own club. Pornmouth. Pornmouth United. Blackpool won the league. So they're going to go up to League One. Wickham Wanderers second, Mansfield third, and then Luton, like we said, won the playoffs against Portsmouth in the playoff final. And we've got Accrington and Morecambe, which again relegated. Newport survived the drop. Unfortunately, in real life, I think they're going to go down the bottom of the table at the moment, but Newport are 21st year. If we go up to League One, you can see the Port Vale actually won on penalties against Millwall in the final. So Port Vale are going to be in the championship. Scunthorpe won the league, and Charlton are going back up as well. Bolton and Bradford City and Millwall all missing out. Wimbledon have got relegated along with Oldham, Rochdale and Bristol Rovers. It's interesting stuff there. Let's go to the Championship, one of my favourite leagues. Newcastle, no surprises there. They win the league. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at the points tally. 103 points. And then the next team, Birmingham, 84 points. They had slammed it. Five losses all season. Bloody hell, Newcastle. So Newcastle win the league. Birmingham finished second. And Wolves win the playoff, finishing in fourth place. Derby, Norwich, and Huddersfield all missing out. We have Aston Villa here, eleventh. Uh, Cardiff, my team, in nineteenth. And then Wigan, Burton, and Preston all got relegated there. And finally, to the big one, the Premier League. Manchester United won the league with eighty-seven points, only by one point as well. Arsenal finished second on eighty-six. Then we've got Man City. In the Champions League place third. And we've got Tottenham in fourth place. Stoke finished fifth. What the earth? Stoke finished above Liverpool and Chelsea in fifth place. Uh, last season's champions Leicester miss out on Europe altogether. They finished eighth, which is pretty respectable to be fair. Um, Watford, Bournemouth and Middlesbrough all getting relegated. And Everton only staying up by four points. There would, would have been a massive club that got relegated if they'd gone down. Interesting stuff there then with, with the uh, English leagues. Shall we see who won the Cups then in England? So if we go to the English FA Cup. Liverpool won the FA Cup to beat Arsenal 3-2 in the final. Roberto Firmino with two goals and Sadio Mane. Excellent stuff there. Um, Lucas with two penalties for Arsenal. Or one penalty and another goal for Arsenal. Okay, so let's have a look at the EFL Cup, the English Football League Cup. Tottenham beaten West Ham in the final 4-1. Harry Kane with two. Joshua Onoma and George's Kevin Ndoku. I have no idea who those two are. Who is he? Bloody hell, look at the stats on this guy. English born, 20-year-old, valued at £10 million. Well, he's a youngster at Tottenham, been there a few years. Never heard of him. Never heard of him, guys. But uh, Tottenham doing good stuff there. And shall we have a look at the uh, Champions League, is it? Club competitions... Not that one. What am I doing? Oh, God, I'm all over the place now. Champions. Champions Cup. There we go. Got there in the end. This, the menu is quite difficult to navigate. Okay, European Champions Cup. Okay, so we haven't done the final yet, but the final is going to be Atletico Madrid versus Arsenal at the Millennium Stadium, a.k.a. the Principality Stadium, but you know where it is in Cardiff. Um, who got to the semis then? So Arsenal lost to... Bar Arsenal beat Barcelona 7-3. Okay, this game is lying. Arsenal beat Barcelona 7-3 on aggregate. And Atletico Madrid winning on the away goal rule. No, winning on penalties. That would be, wouldn't it? I'm going to check this now. Was it penalties or... Oh, my, 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 my. It can't be away goals. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. They threw. I'm just confused. They threw. <laughs> I'm just confused myself now. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. And should we have a look at the other one as well? We oh god, wrong one. Europe. Scroll down. Club competitions. The Europa League. I want to see where we are. Villarreal beat Manchester United in the Europa League final. And West Ham got quite far as well, but they got knocked out then by uh, Schalke, which is also known as Gelsenkirchen. So yeah, guys, that's how things look across Europe in the European um, on the European front, and also the Premier League and the other British leagues that we looked at. Um, I'm going to briefly go through now the managers' jobs because I want to just show you guys what's currently available. And of course, you can lend this to your kind of vote, and then 
um, in the description below what uh, what jobs are, you know, are out there. So if we look at the job security, and I've got this now on all international club jobs, and I got it on all nations. These are all the jobs currently available. So Tondela of Portuguese Premier League are available. That's a two and a half star job, so it'd be a jump up for me. Remember, I'm at a club that's one star, so all of these jobs are actually better the reputation than the jobs I currently got. Arsenal Tula of the Russian Premier League and Orenburg of the Russian Premier League. We got Kasim Pasa of the Turkish Super League. Mlada Boleslav of the Czech First Division. Astropolis of the Greek Super League. We got uh, SKN St. Polten of the Austrian Premier League. I wouldn't mind going to Austria. I don't know why, but I just got a nice feeling about Austria. We've got uh, SC Ashdod of the Israeli Premier League. And we've got Zlat Morovic of the Slovak Premier Division. Vizela of the Portuguese Second League. We've got Denzel Poor of the Turkish First Division. Zeman of the Serbian First Division. We've got Aris of the Greek National B Division. And Pantyrakos of the Greek National B Division as well. OHL of the Belgian Pro League. And we've got WS Brussels of the Belgian First Amateur Division. Brat Vlag of the Norwegian uh, Second Division. And Hod, I think it's pronounced Hod of the Norwegian Second Division. Actually, have a look at that. Okay, Hod are actually a... Well, they're currently in second place. Looks like they currently play in that season. What about stages? Not stages, uh, rules. How many games do they play? Number of matches, 20, they only play 26, and they, they're nine games in already in the second. That could be a nice little pickup to try and... How many divisions are in Norway, though? Norwegian Group 1, I don't know about this, Group 1. Norwegian First Division. I got a funny, yeah, that's like the fourth tier then. So that would be another fourth tier club by the looks of things, because obviously uh, Rosenborg are a, a top team in Norway, and Lillestrom, things like that. So that's the first, so Premier League... That's basically the championship, basically League One, and then this is basically League Two. But it's another country we could go to, and it is possibilities there, isn't it? So we not we need to keep an open mind about this. If I can just go back, there are jobs out there. You know, maybe a, a team like that in Norway. Out of all of these, that's the one I'm thinking because that's the best chance I've got of having success straight away and improving my profit, my um, you know, my reputation even more, my skill set. But it comes down to you guys at the end of the day. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to resign and go elsewhere? Or do you want me to do another season? Do another season, stay at Sterling, try and improve again, try and keep them in the division. Or maybe even half a season, review it at Christmas time. And if we're looking like we're in a bad way, resign. Obviously, if you resign, better to resign than get sacked. Um, and obviously, being in a new division as well comes with a lot of difficulties because you've got to... You know, you try and compete with the teams which are already better than you. You've got to try and match them or even improve upon them and beat them. So, hard work, but you guys get the vote. So, like I said, guys, if you can, um, have a look in the description below. Have a look at the um, the link that I've got in there. Have a vote. Let me know what you want me to do in the comment section below, and then we'll take it from there, guys. But anyway, that ends the first season of this Let's Play. I want to thank all people that have... Uh, drop a like on the videos and have commented, especially Rex, because he's watched pretty much every episode now. Um, I want to thank all my awesome patrons as well. They are there. I've got it right this time. In the um, in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. They're also in my description below. Um, they also are on the end video, which I have at the end of every video that I do, pretty much. And, yeah, just a big thank you to everybody, and I'll see you all soon. I'm Dragonheart, the manager of Sterling. Bye for now.